When I first heard the story of Arthur and Michael, obviously I thought it would make for an amazing movie. I was very excited about the opportunity to uh, play the part of Michael, but then I realized how difficult and challenging it would be physically to make this film because adventure racing is one of the most physically demanding uh, sports in, in the history of sports. So uh, excited and then I realized, well, I'm a little older and I don't know how many more rounds I got left in me, but I was, it was too good an opportunity to pass up, that's for sure. Stop! All right, keep swimming! I'm not gonna sit there and watch him drown, all right? He's one of us. Keep swimming, Arthur! I play uh, Leo, who is just this young, hot-headed adventure racer. Um, Michael and Leo have uh, a really complicated history that you kind of see early on in the movie where in a previous adventure race, um, things don't really turn out well for them and they end kind of on really bad uh, terms. But when it's time to start up again and Michael has this idea to, to kind of do one last race, uh, his sponsors actually kind of force Leo on him because Leo's this like uh, adventure racing, like outdoors influencer type of, type of guy. And so, Michael very begrudgingly goes to Leo and they have this like very contentious dynamic, but they, they you know, both realize that I think they need each other to, to try to win this race. I will do my very best. Regard. I mean, it's... Yeah. No, no, you get it. How could you not be inspired by such a wonderful story? I think um, such a heartfelt, wonderful, inspiring story. I think um, everybody would hope to have and Arthur in their life, and I think it is an opportunity to find that special bond and that special connection with a furry friend like Arthur. But yes, I think this will be one of the most inspiring films in a long time, certainly one of the most inspiring films that I've been a part of. So uh, it's, it's a remarkable story. There's two wonderful races in the movie, but the race to save Arthur is the thing that inspired me the most. Run to the finish. Yeah, that's a chance of a lifetime. You're gonna take it, okay? Are you ready? Yeah. Or is we're all fighting for something at the end of the day, and Arthur's, you know, fighting for his right to survive and for food, you know, and, and just a, a shelter and, and, and home in a way. But uh, we can see that Michael's been going through a lot of the same things too. These races are so, you know, grueling that you really need all four members of a team to just be so in sync and so unified in their desire to win, right? And so Arthur in the beginning is such an antithesis to that, um, that, you know, uh, a, a lot of the team members, specifically Leo, treat him as like an unwanted presence. Um, but I think eventually as their bond deepens and as, you know, our, it, it, our relationship with him becomes more like a friendship, I think we start to realize in all the ways that we've all grown and been affected by Arthur. So many people hopefully will find so many different things um, to be inspired by throughout the film. There's many themes that I find inspirational, but you know, um, getting after your dreams is, is something that I hope that people will continue to do. I think, you know, a lot of people, especially in today's environment, get, get a little bit complacent or, you know, don't have the, you know, the confidence in themselves to go after it. And I think you'd be surprised what you can accomplish if you're willing to do the work. And you never know where you'll find somebody, something who will change your life and your world forever, and certainly for the better. Had a boy, here, here, here. Uh huh. Yeah. He's heading to the other side. He's going out. Yeah. Come on here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on the one message that I would love for audiences to take after seeing this film is that. Um, you know, it's one thing to choose a puppy from a breeder and then to, you know, raise that puppy, which I think is, is a beautiful thing, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I think there's something incredibly special about um, stumbling upon a friend that you never knew that you needed and um, having both of your lives be. Uh, so profoundly changed by each other. And I think that's what happens to Arthur and Michael uh, in real life in this movie. Uh, I think when you adopt an animal, um, it's, it's really, you're, you're giving a life to a creature beyond their wildest hopes and dreams. And you're giving that animal the, the loving home and the forever home, hopefully, 
that, uh, that, that really deep down they've always longed for. And um, nothing could, could be more beautiful than that. Um, so I hope that people who watch this movie will, um, will consider, if they're considering getting a dog, if someone in their, in their friend group or their family is considering uh, getting a dog, uh, first of all, great choice, but uh, consider adopting because you never know. You, you, not only could you change this animal's life, this animal could change your life so, so profoundly. Mm -hmm.